John F. O'Malley here, and I'm here with another anti-American, anti-free trade, anti anti-corporation, anti-worker, anti-everything. So what brings you out to this celebration of the TPP? I am here today to protest the TPP agreement because all it does is send more good American jobs overseas. It ruins the environment. It allows foreign countries to sue our governments. And it's really bad for regular working people. Well, you know what I heard there? Blah, 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 blah. Whining, whining, whining of the entitled workers of America. I mean, they're just lazy in the end, right? That's why they can't compete with foreign countries. No, they can't compete with foreign countries because in countries like Vietnam, they, they pay 50 cents on the hour. That <laughs> sounds wonderful to me. Well, right? it's great for the corporations, but it's terrible for the American workers. It's terrible for the small American businessmen, and it's just good, bad for business. Well, you know, as an, as an American worker and an entrepreneur, the American dream is to own your own business and, and, and to succeed at the American dream, we need to take advantage of these free trade opportunities and take advantage of, um, uh, of these, you know, roads into these foreign countries that help keep, you know, America's way ahead of the rest of the world as far as we go. We gotta bring, you know, we gotta even things out. No, well, the TPP agreement falls right in line with all the other uh, free trade agreements and all it does is foster unfair trade, currency manipulation, and, um, it puts the, the American people out of business. Small businesses cannot compete with 50 cents an hour in countries like Malaysia and Brunei, countries that use child labor, slave labor. Yeah, but all we really concerned about small business, business is the big business guys like me that put people to work. We're the job creators. Yeah, job creators. Over there, not here. Well, Not it, made in America, no, no, no union made, say goodbye to your union made label. That's because we had all, unions, What's, that's like a, that's a dirty word. Yeah, yeah well, you. unions brought you the living wage and the weekend and the 40 hour week and safety rules. Oh, I couldn't live on the living wage. I mean, come, that's, that's for this rabble over here, that's not for somebody oh, like me. Yeah, the right? fat cats get right. everything, the average American worker gets nothing. So what do you think the government could really do to affect or, or change any of this? Like, what, I mean, what are we doing here, right? We're celebrating the TPP. It's probably going to be passed in the next week or two, right? No, no, the no, ATPP. no, 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 we, we, we got to um, knock out fast track. That's the first thing we got to do. Mm -hmm. And then after we knock out fast track, TPP will probably never happen because if the American people knew what was in it, they would never be, they would oppose it. So, I mean... We don't need the American people to know what's in it. We know what's best for the American people. You've uh -huh. got to put the trust in your politicians who put the trust in us. You know what? This is the only trade agreement that was not made available to the American people. Even NAFTA. They couldn't wrap their public. heads around that. That's nah, too much. It was made public before, before the president signed it. And right now there's so much secrecy around this. This is un-American, undemocratic. And the TPP also contains um, clauses, uh, chapters that allow a foreign government to sue the United States government. Just well, because you know. we might be interfering with profits because of our environmental laws or safety yeah, laws. They just gum up the works though. They really stop us from making the, the money that we really need to make so that we can inject that back into the uh, my yacht club. Yeah, well, America is more than American greed, and it's more than the 1%. America is made up of good American workers, the middle class. We need a living wage. The people deserve better, not the 1%. So if you had something you could say to Congressman Zeldin, what would it be? Not that it matters, but what would it be? Yeah, Congressman Zeldin, vote no on Fast Track. Vote no on TPP. It's a bad deal for Americans. It's a bad deal for American jobs. It's bad for our democracy, and it's bad for our sovereignty. Well, there you have it. I don't know what else to say about that, but it doesn't matter. But thanks for your time. Enjoy your party. I'll be celebrating with you. No, you won't. Oh. Did you Can't let the people you? rally because they're, they're, they're violent. Violent and angry. Thank you, Lisa. Did you have anything to do with him signing that letter to Obama wanting fast track? No. <laughs> no. It's not He's it in your pocket, isn't he? No, no, no. You know, you, you say pocket, I say wallet, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's all... Listen, 
this is the way the system's set up. It's set up for success, for real Americans like me, John F. O'Malley, yay TPP.